Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to thank all of you for joining me for another video. I hope you all are doing well. Um, like the last video says, uh, today we're going to be going ahead and shaving with some PAA products. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and look at that. The first product is the um, Symmetry Open Comb Razor. I've got a brand new Gillette Silver Blue in it. They do come double wrapped. The packaging looks like that. Or that. Not sure which way is the right way up due to my blindness. But the razor's got decent blade reveal, decent little blade gap. And not a lot of overhang. It's a shiny little fella. So we'll see how that does. The brush is the 24 millimeter PAA Starcraft. It's got the little alien down there. It's got the Roswell gray knot. Um, for those of you who are don't know the backstory on this brush, there was a brush called the 513, 5 something or other Mohawk. 5313 Mohawk, I don't know, it was made by a company out of Canada, which was later acquired by, I believe, Fuller Brush Company. And, um, you know, Douglas found an example where the handle was all white, and he added the blue up here. And then he later on found one where the bulb part was, where the knot went, was like black, I think he said. And other than that, he didn't really find any info on that on, on that brush. So, you know, in the brush world, I guess it's kind of a little bit of an enigma. Um, you know, uh, you don't know, you know, it's one of those things that you don't know a lot about. A lot of the history for it was lost or not kept track of. So I'm really looking forward to it. The soap is going to be, since it is Wednesday, hump day by K Shave Works. Anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, real quick. God, I love the smell of this hump day. Gonna go ahead and wet the face and load, the, or no, first we'll load the brush. Nice thing about being synthetic, don't gotta worry about it. I've been using the Mantic 59 thing he had where you just basically um, get your brush wet or with it wet you just kind of circle over their fingers around the tips of the brush and give it a squeeze so it had quite a bit of water in it actually so not going to quite do the Matt Bork in three minute load um, some of you might have seen that that post on one of the shape groups on Facebook. But um, I think that's a good load right there. So let's go ahead and wet the face. I've been a bad, bad YouTuber. I haven't been keeping up with some of you guys um, as of late. I apologize. Um, went ahead and watched your hand and shooting butchers. Um, oh yeah, this feels really, really nice on the face. Oh yeah. It's got a decent backbone. So... Really, really soft tips. I like that. Well, that's what so far. Your Starcraft is performing nice. Didn't have any 
clean tank tops, got to do laundry, so today just wearing a shirt with sleeves. And uh, Got a little bit of water, yeah, so kind of went a little bit, rambled a little bit on the, um, while I was bothering. Let me rinse the soap that fell onto the handle here, and the razor. real quick I was watching the video one of the videos I have had a chance to watch was Trevor B's with grain that's smooth hmm. Nice speed bug. Uh, horrible to hear about Notre Dame over there in France. Whether you are religious or not, you know that um, that is a terrible loss. At least the damage that was done. Um, but, luckily, it did not completely destroy the structure, so. I mean, what? Notre Dame was well over a thousand years old. Anyway, one pass done. What they say the roof of Notre Dame to make that took a grand total of what? 1300 oak trees? <laughs> um, I always knew Notre Dame was huge, was big. But wow, I mean 1300 oak trees. <laughs> Just to make the roof structure, that's what they say on the thing I saw. That translated into what? 50 acres of land to grow that much, that, that many, that many trees? Oh, oh wow, there's a whole buttload of lather. Just kind of, had kind of like flowed over the soap tub. It's like hanging out on my tray, so I'll definitely use that. Cross screen. But, I mean, so. Hopefully the rebuilding won't take long, or hopefully it can get it back to former glory. Yeah. 
Well, this is this pretty efficient razor. I like it. The brush, really, really, really great brush. Um, Douglas, if you ever see this on the video, good job, dude. This razor, it's efficient. Feels good. Ow. That was mine. It's my fault, guys. It's my fault. It's one of the blade that was my own. Ended up poking myself in the side of the neck with the edge of the blade. Um, yeah. Caught it just perfectly. So, no pass done. All this was what flowed over the side. So. not the thickest the lathers but you know um, still gonna be probably mucho bueno slick um, I do not speak Spanish so if I screwed that up I apologize guys um, See how it feels. See how this razor feels against the grain. Definitely gonna have to start. Not gonna use a disposable on my head. I'll sit there and use this razor because my head's gonna be grow too. I think I might go for that prismatic. Yeah. These would definitely, this brush would definitely be a great brush to pick up another one and put away my son's stuff. Um, I think I might do that. This razor too. He's only five now, but they grow so damn fast, kids. So when my kid gets a shaving age, I want to make sure he's got a nice setup, nice den of his own. That way he stays out of mine. Um, I mean, not that I would refuse him the use of any of my gear or soaps or whatever. Just. I want him to have his own den. You know, I want to be able to say, when his buddies come over, say, they go, wow, that's some cool stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's my shade den. So, yeah, that's good against the grain. Shower shaver. Um, in the description on Phoenix shaving, Douglas mentions he's one too, and um, he says he designed the. You know, made sure this razor had plenty of knurling for a shower shaver. Anyways, third path good. See y'all back here. Oh, missed a couple spots. Missed a couple spots.
Got a couple little spots of irritation, but not too bad. But then again, I'm using a brand new razor. Um, it's a little more aggressive or efficient than some others. So, there. Um, That'll suck in quite nicely once my face is dry with the whiskers. Um, nice. Anyways, see you back for the post. That, folks, was a really, really good shave. Um, since this is my first use of these items, except the blade and the soap, let's take a, one more quick look at them. The razor was the PAA, or Phoenix Shaving, um, Symmetry Open Comb Razor. Great knurling on the handle. Did not once feel like it was going to slip out of my hand when my hands was wet, when my hand was wet. Um, not too aggressive, uh, but not too mild. It kind of hits that sweet spot for me. Um, felt good. Really enjoyed it. Quite an efficient shaver. I went ahead and did my head shave, did the first pass uh, from front to back using that razor to knock it down enough to go ahead and take the cartridge or the disposable to it. Um, I got no no nicks, no cuts, a little bit of irritation, but I'm not surprised with that. Um, that happens usually until I learn a razor. Um, but all in all, I'm very happy with the shave very happy with it. The brush all cleaned up. The um, Phoenix um, Starcraft with the 24 millimeter Roswell gray knot, synthetic knot, blue, white. You find a Oop. image. Stop recording Sorry, video. Guys. Um, down here says Phoenix shaving, Starcraft, 24 millimeter shows an alien. Um, very happy with that brush. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a brush that I would love to add to. Um, pick up a second one and add to collection for my son. I will probably do that. If the other two perform as well as that one, then I'll be doing that the same because I really like the looks of all three of those brushes. The soap was K-Shaveworks Hump Day. If you've used K-Shaveworks, I don't got to go on much about it. Absolutely wonderful soap. Absolutely <sighs> Mm, love the smell. One of my favorite soaps. Love the base. Anyways, so, enough talking. Let's move on to the post. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And of course, as far as the blade goes, Gillette Silver Blue. One of my favorites. First use, so it was good. Ended up talking a little more in this one than I would like. So, um, and you know what? We had a little bit of cold snap for a day or two. I use a little bit of poche bomb. The weather's starting to warm back up nicely. Got our puppy. Um, beautiful little dog. Sweet little dog, just, I don't know where she was. The males were kind of, I don't mean the male dogs, I mean the male men were a little bit loud, sometimes aggressive towards their women. So, she uh, doesn't run for me, but when I approach her, and it may be because she ain't figured me out yet because of my blindness. I don't know. But her ears go back and her tail tucks. And so I'm going to need to work with her. She's starting to warm up, but a little bit. Hopefully it won't take long for her. What was that? Oh, dang, brush down. Hang on, guys. Anyways, had to turn and 
on my hands. Um, brush fell right in the sink. Anyways, the aftershave is Ice Blue Aqua Vela. Love the smell of this stuff. Oh yeah, a little, a little burn, a little burn, not bad. But, so, all in all, great shape, very happy with it. I was so happy to get all that stubble off my head and off my face. <laughs> Anyways, so, guys, thank you for joining me. Hope you all have been doing well. Um, If you want a good synthetic brush for a decent price, um, and you ain't got no Phoenix shaving brushes, that one at least, the StarCraft, is a good one to get. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy, and I'll see y'all in the next video, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.